residents in Florida, United States, were ordered to evacuate in the wake of Hurricane Irma landing in the area within the next 24 hours. According to AP, about 5.6 million Florida residents were ordered to evacuate. This is considered a historic evacuation in this area since the fifth super typhoon Andrew landed in 1992. It is expected that super typhoon Irma will land in Florida on September 10, local time. Governor of Florida Rick Scott announced that all the people had to be prepared to evacuate and warn people in the danger zone. We are running out of time, everyone needs to go now. I can build a house, but I cannot get my life back, said Scott, think about life, think of family. A super typhoon is coming straight up here without any resistance. We do not have a mountain to cover, said Governor Scott, who said that 5.6 million people were evacuated from the Florida area. Meanwhile, Mayor Philip Levine of Miami said, I pray. Expect people to leave the Miami Beach area. This is a nuclear storm, it has tremendous power. This is the storm that will kill you if you do not get out of the way, meteorologist Dennis Felgen at the U.S. National Hurricane Center. Newspaper. People will soon feel Irma's terrible destructive power, said Roman Gastesi, head of Monroe County in Florida. Once the storm hit, do not try to call 911 because no one can approach it. The winds of up to 200 km hour. The empty shelves in the supermarket in Florida. Unlikely to draw lessons from the super typhoon Harvey landed in Texas, many Americans are uncompromising. Our plan is simple, get inside the house, wait for the storm and hope for the best, said Jan Michael Medina, who decided not to leave. You cannot give up everything and leave, said Alberto Valdez, 63, a Florida man for 20 years. We have worked hard to build this property. Leaving is not an easy decision. Meanwhile, mar lagos mansion, nicknamed the White House of Winter by U.S. President Donald Trump, also closed, was shut down. Guests were advised to leave for a safer place. mar lagos stood up after four storms hit the area. Jeff Masters, director of the U.S. Weather Center, says the biggest threat to Mar-a-Lago is not winds of more than 250 km per hour. Hurricane Irma's hourly rate is more than 2 meters above sea level. The area is quite low, and the 2.4 meters high wave can engulf the Trump mansion frequented by winter. Earlier, Hurricane Irma killed at least 20 people as it overtook the island's famous tourist island.